So just a quick little update video here that uh, I am really late on doing, but I also only found out about it recently. As you may be aware of the My Avatar Editor, or the basic Me Editor that you can access over the internet, specifically as of recent, mainly on Reconnect24. Well, as of the end of 2020, Adobe Flash, which is what the editor used to run, was discontinued, and so therefore on most main browsers, most main ways, you cannot get this to run anymore. Uh, however, I decided to take a look because I wanted to do a, a bit more me stuff recently, and I found out that you can actually still get the avatar editor, and as a matter of fact, all of my tutorials regarding the RKG file um, extraction and getting hold of me's that are archived on in rankings are still possible. Um, you just have to change a few things to be able to do it first. Um, so the, the first thing and the main thing that I will show here is uh, that you can actually, you have a little install to desktop tutorial right here. Uh, I have no idea if this was here or not um, beforehand. Looking back at some of the past recordings, I feel like this was actually here. Um, back when, you know, you could still use the, the main avatar editor. Um, but this is the easiest one, and I think the most useful, because you can basically install the editor straight to your desktop, and once you have it there, you literally just use it as a general program. Fairly straightforward and simple uh, tutorial to follow as well, and uh, once you've got it, it works just fine. Opens up the files that are straight from the RKG file, or God forbid, if you use the hex editor to uh, get a hold of them, then you know they they would probably work for that too. Uh, there's also this Flashpoint feature, which I did try out. I believe Flashpoint is a program that you can use. Uh, you can download and install on a computer, which you can use to run Flash games or applications that you would usually use in the browser. But since the discontinuation, you can't anymore. Um, I did try this out, and I did try to find the avatar editor, but uh, I could not get this one to run. This one works perfectly fine, I've got that on my computer, but this one I could not sort out, so that might be a bit more complicated. Um, now there's also this third option here which you can use in browser, and this is why uh, I'm on a different looking browser to normal. It's one that's called SeaMonkey, which is what this... Uh, page suggested. Um, I'm actually just following most of what is literally on this page. Um, it says that the Me Editor can still work on things like legacy browsers, um, and in it suggested SeaMonkey, which I went and downloaded. I have got a Flash plugin here for this, which I searched for and just downloaded the first one that came up on this browser. Um, but as you can see here, once I click to activate it, the editor uh, loads up and works just fine like it used to. Um, this is following my Nin Rankings archive tutorial. I copied this code and pasted it in all the same um, from a random me that I found on that was uh, linked on Nin Rankings. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it works perfectly fine. You can edit it all the same as how, how you used to. You can change all the features and all that stuff. Um, you've also got the randomizer option, so you can just choose random me still, and you'd be able to save it out all the same and uh, install it and whatnot on your computer just like you used to. So it's a, a little bit more complicated, but it's also not really too complicated. Um, it's a shame that Flash was discontinued in the first place, but again, just uh, a proof of concept that everything is still possible. There are still ways that you can work around it now. Uh, if anyone does actually know how to get this to run again, just in a regular browser like Chrome or Firefox, then, you know, be sure to comment it and uh, I'll take a look at it as well. I'm pretty sure there is a way that you could get this to work without um, installing, downloading and installing a browser that no one's ever heard of before, because I never heard of this until it was listed here. 
Uh, I'm sure there's a way you can get it to work on a more mainstream browser like Chrome or Firefox. So if anyone knows that, do let me know. I was just following what was here on the site. Uh, this is the main option that I would recommend if you are literally just after the avatar editor and have all the files you need to edit in the first place. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope it was helpful to some extent or not. It was fairly rushed, as you could probably tell. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you again some other point in time.